Turkey is a country at the crossroads of Europe and Asia. Turkey has a population of 82 million people, and from these, just a few thousand identify themselves as Greek. Being situated in Asia Minor, also known as Anatolia, the territory of present-day Turkey witnessed many transitions throughout its known history. The region was populated by some different ancient populations. One of them was the Greeks. Ancient Greek people settled on the west coast since the 20th century BC. The father of history, Herodotus, described Anatolia as a territory divided into regions. These regions were diverse in culture, language, and religious practices. But in the next hundreds of years, Greek culture and influence became stronger and stronger, especially at the peak of the Byzantine Empire during the 6th to 10th centuries. The Greeks were the majority in today's Anatolia. But what happened to them? We are happy to say that this episode is brought to you by our sponsor, Final Fantasy XV, A New Empire. You can use my link below to download Final Fantasy XV, A New Empire for yourself. This is a truly global mobile game with millions playing around the world. Jump into action with your favorite characters and fight alongside friends and against foes in legendary battles against millions of players around the world. Experience your very own epic Final Fantasy adventure by building your large army and using the best strategies to win in real-time, action-packed battles. It's important to focus on your strategy to crush your enemies and beasts in battle, and to compete for the crystal against players from all over the world. Final Fantasy XV A New Empire is a free-to-play game available on iOS and Android. Support our channel while having a great time by using the link below to download Final Fantasy XV A New Empire. Greeks have been living in what is now Turkey continuously since the middle 2nd millennium BC. Following upheavals in mainland Greece during the Bronze Age collapse, the Aegean coast of Asia Minor was heavily settled by Greeks and became known as Ionia. During the era of Greek colonization from the 8th to 6th century BC, numerous Greek colonies were founded on the coast of Asia Minor. Even though the region was populated by other ancient civilizations, the Greek influence started to become bigger and bigger, especially on the coasts of present-day Turkey, but in the mainland as well. Following the conquest of Asia Minor by Alexander the Great, the rest of Asia Minor was opened up to Greek settlement. Upon the death of Alexander, Asia Minor was ruled by a number of Hellenistic kingdoms. A period of peaceful Hellenization followed, so much so that the local Anatolian languages had been supplanted by Greek by the 1st century BC. Asia Minor was also one of the first places where Christianity spread. By the 4th century AD, the region was overwhelmingly Christian Greek-speaking. The presence of many Greeks, the process of Hellenization, and the similarity of some of the native languages of Anatolia to Greek gradually caused many of these people to abandon their own languages in favor of Greek, a process reinforced by Romanization. These Greek Christian inhabitants of Asia Minor are known as the Byzantine Greeks, and they formed the bulk of the Byzantine Empire's Greek-speaking population for 1,000 years, from the 5th century until the fall of the Byzantine state in the 15th century. In the northeast along the Black Sea, these people eventually formed their own state, known as the Empire of Trebizond, which gave rise to the modern Pontic Greek population. The Roman Empire had pillars of influence at some point. Latin was more used in the West and Greek in the East. After the West collapsed, the East remains the core of the Roman world. For the next hundreds of years, Asia Minor would become the centers of the Hellenic world. Also, mainland Greece experienced repeated barbarian invasions and went into decline. The start of the Greek collapse in the region starts with the 11th century. Following the Battle of Manzikert in 1071, the Seljuk Turks swept through all of Asia Minor. While the Byzantines would recover western and northern Anatolia in subsequent years, Central Asia Minor was settled by Turkic peoples and never again came under Byzantine rule. This led, in the end, to their collapse, mainly due to their internal problems, civil wars, and other invasions. Because of poor management, the Byzantine Empire was unable to stem the Turkic advance, and by 1300, most of Asia Minor was ruled by Anatolian Beylix. Beginning in the 11th century, 
War between the Turks and the Byzantines led to the deaths of many in Asia Minor, while others were enslaved. Areas in central Anatolia became depopulated, and due to this reason, Turkic nomads moved in. A number of pastoralists of Turkic origin that migrated to Anatolia is a matter of discussion. According to Ibn Said al-Marabi, there were 200,000 Turkmen tents in Denizli and its surrounding areas, 30,000 in Bolu and its environment, and about 100,000 in Kastamonu and its environment. According to a Latin source, at the end of the 12th century, there were 100,000 nomadic tents in the regions of Denizli and Isparta. During the Ottoman era, a period of Turkification started. Until the late 17th century, a blood tax existed. This was chiefly an annual practice by which the Ottoman Empire sent the military to press second or third sons of their Christian subjects in the villages of the Balkans into military training as Janissaries. Afterwards, they were then converted to Islam. Janissaries in the Ottoman army were largely of Christian origin. The Muslims had more privileges than the Christians in the empire, and this led to many conversions to Islam and also led to integration into the Turkish ethnicity in time. The late Ottoman government sought to create a core identity with a single Turkish religion, language, history, and tradition. The Ottoman Empire had an ethnically diverse population that included Turks, Arabs, Albanians, Bosniaks, Greeks, Persians, Bulgarians, Serbs, Armenians, and others. During the late 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century, the policy of Turkification received several new layers and it was sought to impose Turkish in the administration. This affected the non-Turkish people, especially the Arabs, Armenians, Kurds, and Greeks. Even after those centuries under the Ottoman Empire, inside Anatolia existed a large community of Greeks, especially around the western coasts and in Istanbul. Before World War I, there was an estimated 1.8 to 2 million Greeks living inside the Ottoman Empire. Before World War I, there was an estimated 1.8 to 2 million Greeks living in the Ottoman Empire. From 1914 until 1923, Greeks in Thrace and Asia Minor were subjects to a campaign including massacres and internal deportations. Around 1.5 million Ottoman Greeks remained in the Ottoman Empire after losses of 550,000 during the First World War. Almost all, 1.25 million, except for those in Constantinople, had fled before or were forced to go to Greece in 1923 in the population exchanges mandated by the League of Nations after the Greco-Turkish War, 1919 to 1922. The lingual Turkification of Greek, Armenian, and Assyrian speakers in 19th century Anatolia is a result of partial Turkification that occurred earlier. There are remnants of the estimated 200,000 Greeks who were permitted under the provisions of the Convention Concerning the Exchange of Greek and Turkish Populations to remain and live in Turkey after the 1923 population exchange. Many of them were in the city of Istanbul. A total of approximately 1.5 million Greeks from Anatolia and East Thrace were sent to mainland Greece, and of half a million Turks from all of Greece except for Western Thrace were sent to Turkey. Beginning in the 1930s, the government instituted repressive policies forcing many Greeks to emigrate. During the Second World War, there was a tax that was supposed to be paid by all citizens of Turkey but inordately higher rates were imposed on the country's non-Muslim inhabitants. Continued discrimination led to thousands of Greeks fleeing the city, eventually reducing the Greek population to about 7,000 by 1978 and about 2,500 by 2006. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Also, a big thank you to Final Fantasy XV, A New Empire. Don't forget to check them out. You can use my link below to download Final Fantasy XV, A New Empire for yourself. I would like to express my huge gratitude to the generous Patreon supporters of this channel. Your help increased our productivity by a lot. See you next time.